This is the Waves Kramer Pi compressor, and the way they spell it here is P-I-E, although the original is P-Y-E, uh, which was the original name of the company, Pi, that uh, created it in the 1960s. The Pi compressor is well-renowned for its incredible sound and uh, is part of the Kramer collection as part of his signal flow chain, which included the Helios channel, uh, mic pre, uh, and EQ, along with the Pi compressor and then the Kramer tape. So uh, this uh, compressor is a very musical sounding compressor. It's a solid state compressor. Uh, it adds a lot of warmth and uh, body and openness. It's very musical sounding, and that's a simple way to describe it. It has um, the uh, analog characteristic that you find with a lot of the, uh, all the analog emulations done by Waves. It has a threshold uh, setting here, an output level control, and we have a, a release time, which they call a decay. Uh, which is a multiple of the 100 milliseconds. So that'd be 100, 200, 400, etc. going on there. And then uh, you have different ratios, compression ratios. So it's a pretty straightforward, simple compressor. And uh, so let's kind of throw this on a bass, which is a really nice way to use this. Uh, it also would work well with guitars and a vocal that needed some warmth. And let's run it through a few different settings and see what we get. So add a little gain here. Okay, so you can hear here, let's just kind of get no gain reduction here. A little bit. It's without it. All right, so there's obviously some gain that's added in there. So let's just kind of see if we can match it up a little better. Very smooth. And then we could also go with a you know lighter ratio here. We can actually go to one to one, which basically negates the compression circuitry. A little clip there. And then we could switch up ratio wise, get a little more, so we'll kind of have to back off on our threshold here a little bit. And there's a limiter function. Right, you could kind of hear like the the attack time being more aggressive there, almost creating a little bit of a distortion, right? And that may not be suited here for the bass, probably like a two to one compression. But it has like a nice even smooth kind of quality, right? Let's see if we get like so a little more heavy duty compression, crank the output gain a little bit here. See what we got. All right, so there, uh, let's listen, uh, start back again from the beginning. Really fills out the sound, gives it some depth and character. A little bit of extra gain there, that's part of it. This is like um, just an amazingly musical sounding compressor, more rich, smooth, really creamy kind of sound to it, which is great, which is what uh, made it uh, so popular and uh, is a great um, emulation to have in your plug-in collection. Um, if you uh, get this along with the Kramer tape and the uh, Kramer Helios, um, then you get the whole signal flow chain that uh, Kramer used for some of the red records he did with Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix um, back at Olympic Studios in London. So anyway, this is the um, Pi compressor, the Kramer Pi compressor, uh, which is an emulation of the Pi compressor, P-Y-E, uh, made in the 1960s.